Welcome to our demonstration on how to upgrade vSphere hosts using vSphere Update Manager. We begin by logging into the vSphere client. Go to Hosts and Clusters. Notice that the vCenter server has already been upgraded. You need to upgrade vCenter server to version 5.5 before you can upgrade the vSphere hosts to 5.5. In the inventory, we see a single data center with one cluster comprised of two hosts. Both hosts are running ESXi version 5.0. We also have four active virtual machines. These virtual machines will remain running throughout the upgrade. To do the upgrade, we return to the home screen and select Update Manager. The first step is to create an upgrade baseline. To do this, we need to import the ESXi 5.5 ISO image. Select the ESXi Images tab and click Import ESXi Image, Browse, and select the file. When the upload completes, click Next. Following the import, Update Manager automatically creates an upgrade baseline. Simply provide a name and click Finish. Next, we attach the upgrade baseline to our cluster. Go to Hosts and Clusters, select the cluster, and select the Update Manager tab. Click the Attach link, select the upgrade baseline, and click Attach. The hosts initially show a status of unknown. To determine the status, we need to scan the host in order to compare the running ESXi version against the version in the upgrade baseline. To do this, click Scan. By default, Update Manager only scans for patches and extensions. Uncheck that and select Upgrades. When the scan is complete, the status of the hosts changes from unknown to non-compliant. This indicates that our hosts are not running ESXi 5.5 and need to be upgraded. To upgrade the host and bring them into compliance with the baseline, we remediate the hosts. Click the Remediate button, select the Upgrade Baseline, and select the hosts to upgrade. Accept the license agreement and click Next. We are asked whether to remove any third-party software that is incompatible with the upgrade. This applies when upgrading ESX or ESXi 4.x hosts that have optional third-party software components installed. Read the screen instructions on how to retain these components after the upgrade. As we are upgrading from ESXi 5.0, we do not need to select the checkbox. Click Next. Here we are able to schedule the remediation. We will accept the default, which is to run the remediation immediately, and click Next. Update Manager uses DRS to migrate active virtual machines off the hosts when placing them into maintenance mode. Here we are able to specify how Update Manager should proceed if, for any reason, DRS is unable to migrate any active virtual machines. Under the Power State dropdown, we can choose to either power the virtual machines off, suspend them, or take no action, in which case the remediation would likely fail. We can avoid potential migration issues related to removable media by telling Update Manager to automatically disable removable media devices connected to the virtual machine. We can also specify the number of times Update Manager will attempt to put the host into maintenance mode and how long to wait in between attempts. We take the defaults and click Next. Next, we choose whether to temporarily disable any cluster settings during the upgrade. Some cluster features, such as DPM, FT, and HA admission control, may need to be disabled during the upgrade in order to avoid conflicts. Here, we can also choose whether to upgrade hosts in parallel and whether to have Update Manager migrate powered off and suspended VMs off the hosts. We take the defaults and click Next. At the summary screen, review the settings and click Finish to begin the upgrade. Monitor the progress of the remediation in the Recent Tasks section at the bottom of the screen. The upgrade begins with host ESX01A by migrating the active virtual machines off the host and placing it into maintenance mode. After putting the host into maintenance mode, the host is upgraded and then rebooted. Following the reboot, the host will automatically be reconnected to vCenter and taken out of maintenance mode. Update Manager then repeats the process to upgrade host 2.
Following the reboot, it reconnects to vCenter and is taken out of maintenance mode. Host 2 has finished upgrading and the remediation is complete. Rerun the scan to update the host's status. Following the scan, we see that both the hosts are now compliant. If we select the individual hosts, we can see they are now running ESXi 5.5. This concludes the demonstration on how to use vSphere Upgrade Manager to upgrade vSphere hosts. Thank you.